Hey guys, Headhunter here, recording another video for Genshin Impact. This time I'm going to tell you the best way to spend your resin once you hit probably AR30, a lot of you have, or if you're still 20, um, this is still relevant to you. So we're going to go through my opinion on what's the best way to spend your resin every day and how you should be refilling. So right now I am adventure level 36. Um, and so the first thing you should be doing is trying to complete your adventure handbook. So if I open my adventure handbook here, if I go back to, let's say if you're on chapter six or chapter seven, there's going to be a lot of things here like, um, ascending weapons, ascending characters. And to do that, you're going to need to use your resin to farm bosses for those materials or farm dungeons for those weapon ascension materials. So be aware of that and use your resin to try and complete towards this. This is your most important one because right now there's no no more quests in the game. So the only thing you can do to get XP is try and complete these if you haven't already. Um, and then for me, I'm trying to complete this very slowly. This one, I'm going to have to hit level 40, uh, AR 40. So that's going to be a while. So first thing first, try and complete your adventure handbook. It's a pretty good guide for, you know, doing this. Uh, some of these for defeating, you don't actually have to use your resin to claim the rewards. And same thing with your quests, daily quests for dungeons or uh, ley lines. You actually don't have to claim the rewards after. They still count towards your completion for the battle pass or for your dailies. Um, right. So second thing, uh, we're going to check our bosses. So still down here in your bosses, they actually don't show uh, Storm Terror, but you're going to want to kill, you can only kill Dominator of the Wolves and Storm Terror once a week. And it's going to cost you 60 resin. So it's only once a week. So I would farm it towards the end of the week. Or if you think you are not going to hit that next 5 level mark, your AR20 and uh, your AR20, AR25, AR30, AR35. And your world level is not going to go up. Because every time your world level goes up, the rewards get better. So I did it this week because I know I am not going to hit AR-40. I've already done it. And it's given me two uh, of these legendary artifacts, which I was really happy to get. I'm not, I've am i heard other players get them at AR-30, which is world level 3, but I did them at AR-35. Um, not sure about the rates, but definitely do these once you know you can't hit that next world level in the week. So other than that, the most important thing I would farm... Firstly is these uh, hypostasis bosses and hypostasis and these uh, divine ones. They have different names, so I don't know what to call them. Like there's a fire one and then the water ones. Uh, it's not really a vine, it's just a water creature. Um, because when you're farming, the where is it? Hmm? Uh, so when you're farming these, they are going to give you this material for sure. So lightning prisms to level up your characters and completing towards your adventure handbook. So right now if I go look at my character and my Kaya is level 70. I don't have that many. I don't really have a carry but so I'm going to look. I need 12 of these for the next level up. So I'm going to get ready and I'm going to farm this to 12. So it probably will take me two more bot skills. Usually you get two. At AR 30 plus one, one or two at lower levels. Um, this other material, you're almost never going to get enough, but you can always craft. So check that you can craft up from the lower tier when you want to send your characters. But I will farm this until you have enough to get ready for that next step. Because right now there's no really point to really push, but you want to be ready when the new con content comes out. So other than farming, oh, the other advantage of farming these bosses is... If you look at their drops, right here, um, they have the chance of getting you gladiator sets, which are really strong. Because if you have a four-piece set, it increases normal attack, so your normal attacks by 35%. And that's a lot of damage. So uh, this is a good set to get once you're AR 30+. Plus. And I would do this one if you need these cores for each element over the artifact dungeons just because they give you all these other materials and the chance for artifacts anyways all right so next up you've done that 
Now, the next biggest upgrade you can get from your, besides character levels is weapon levels. So I will go to your characters and check your weapons and see how you can enhance those. So this, these materials only spawn two days a week and Sundays. So check your material which day they're going to come on. So mine's Monday and Thursday and you want nine of these. I did this one at AR30 or world level three and it was such a rare drop. I haven't done it at 35 plus, but it's very rare to get the purples at AR30. Um, but you know, getting ready, making sure you can craft up, check what you have at lower tiers and craft up to these and level up your weapons because the base attack you get is really going to improve your damage. After that, I will farm your talents. So if you didn't know, you can go to the talents tab here under characters and you can upgrade your skills and they're gonna your skills are based off percentage of your attack and they scale off your attack damage and every time you upgrade it it's gonna increase and it's gonna get better um, so check each character usually has only one I think the main character uses two different ones so you have a guide to ballad here Wednesday Saturday and Sunday I've been farming this stage because if you have official you're gonna need ballad if you have Venti, you're going to need Ballad. Um, yeah, so check what uh, talent skill ups you use for your characters because that can really increase your damage. Like some of these, this is only a 6%, but a lot of them, they, they could go up really high. Like this is a 21% damage increase just for talent ups. And if you can get to this like 5, that could be like a 60% damage increase on your officials. All right, um, and then after you farm character level up material, weapon level material, talent up material, uh, then I would really go for, if you still have resin and you still don't know what to farm, I would go for gold because eventually you're going to run into gold problems. You're going to run into EXP to tome problems. These ones for EXP tomes and these ones for gold. But note, see how I'm getting 44k at world 3 you get like 36k so they're gonna get better every time your world levels up so keep that in mind for efficiency um and lastly i will farm the artifact dungeon so if you click this these artifact dungeons they're not really good until um this one it says you can get purples it wasn't that common i tried some at world level 4 or ar35 plus i got one to two per run I'm not sure if there was any runs I didn't get one, so you get one to two per run. But you really want to be waiting for Adventure Rank 40, so AR 40, because you have the chance to get these legendaries. I would just rather farm the bosses because you, from the other ones, you can already get legendaries. It's just very rare. But it's not really worth it until you hit 40. So those are the six things you can do with resin, and those are the orders I would go with them. First one is completing adventure, so I really five things you can do. Um, now for your resin, the, whoop, I wanted to show you. So you get one resin every eight minutes or 120 every 16 hours. I think that's the math. And so if you're a free-to-play player, I would recommend, if you're really free-to-play, you could do the 50 Primo Gems for uh, a daily refresh. Me, I've been doing the 50, 100, 100 so that's the first three it costs 250 in total for me to farm and then the 150 and then it goes to 150 then it goes to 200 and 200 the last three are really expensive if you think about it and as a free-to-play player i think you get if you're not even buying the daily blessing thing if you check your venture handbook your commissions are going to give you 20 plus 40 so you get 60 a day Right now, you feel like you're getting a lot because there's this email bonus of, you know, the game's just released. You're getting this intertwined 160. A, no, that's not it. Yeah. You're getting these like 160 a day, 160 a day. So you feel like you're getting a lot in, but beware. Eventually, that will run out and you got to be careful with how you're spending your primo gems. If you want to do summons, save for a limited banner or you're refreshing a resin, I would really... Don't, don't go over, if you're free to play, don't go over the 100. Just do up to 150 and that's it. So that's my opinion on how to be spending your resin. Uh, me, right now, I'm sitting outside this talent skill up. I'm going to be farming some more before the day ends because I won't be able to farm it again for a while. 
and I want to maximize my characters, maybe push some more uh, spiral. So good luck with your game, guys. Hope you guys get good drops. And uh, make sure to like the video and follow me for more content. I got some, not, some more videos planned for this week, so definitely come back and check them out.